Gary, disappointing result here at Bolton this evening. Um, what went wrong today? Yeah, really disappointed uh, with the result and performance. First half just didn't really get going. Uh, too many players not at the high standards that they've, they've set recently and uh, allowed Bolton far too many opportunities at our goal. Uh, they scored two, they could have scored more and, and we gave ourselves a mountain to climb second half. Sloppy goals again, I think as a, as a central defender yourself, you must be pretty frustrated with the manner in which we're conceding at the moment. Yes, we've, we've tried a number of different things to, to stop it and, and it's still happening. I think we have to be better in duels right across the pitch. There has to be more intensity, more aggression to, to how we try and win them. I think we have to defend high balls better. We need to head it and we need to clear the ball from, from danger areas. We need to stay with runners. So. It's not one particular problem, it's, it's numerous problems that, that we have to address really quickly. We certainly miss the presence of Pierce Sweeney on the pitch out there today. Can you, can you give an update on where Sweeney's is? Yeah, he fractured a, a bone in his hand last week and we were hoping uh, after a small operation he could have wore a splint and, and possibly played, but that wasn't the case. So, uh, fingers crossed it's not too long, he's a, he's a big player for us, uh, so fingers crossed it's uh, two or three weeks, but it, it potentially could be longer. It just depends on what he can do and, and what protection he needs uh, to, to wear during a, a training in a game. There is, of course, no, no perfect time for a player to get injured, but January's just around the corner, which means you know, if, if needed, there's the opportunity to bring someone in there. Yeah, I think it's an important time. Uh, I'm, I'm learning more and more about the players as the weeks go by, uh, so it's a, a big time for the club where we we need to add to the squad, we need to add competition for places and uh, we are you know, well on our way to, to looking at the targets and what we need uh, and we'll be ready to, to try and do that when the window opens. We touched on it in an earlier answer that it was two at half time but it, it could have been more, they hit the, hit the post a couple of times as well Bolton. What did you say to the players at the break? Just that need to be better, the intensity, the press, I think when we pressed properly in the first half we won the ball back. Uh, and, and on numerous occasions, but too often it was it was too easy to get out, and uh, then when it became came into our half or our final third, we, we lost our men. We didn't pick up men in the box, and it was far too easy to, to get attempts at our goal. So, uh, lots to work on next week and, and improve on for for a tough game in Boxing Day. There was a marked improvement in the second half. We you know, passed the ball quite nicely, retained possession, had a few chances. Um, have you had a chance to look at? The offside call on Josh Key went through and managed to, to find the back of the net, but the offside flag was up pretty quickly. Yeah, we knew at the time it was onside. Uh, we checked it straight away, but I thought the officials were were poor today. You know, as uh, as poor as we was we were, and we have to look at that ourselves. I thought the the referee was terrible and and the linesman as well. Given that had that pulled it back to two one with with I think just over twenty minutes to go, does that make it a bit more of a kick in the teeth as well? Yeah, I thought we were really on the front foot second half. We, we controlled the game, we, we uh, got the ball in their half very comfortably. We didn't create a great deal, but I think a goal at that point would have made a massive difference to the game. But like I said, the, the linesman you know, gave it. The ref didn't give us any, any decision all day in terms of the little fouls that they were creating or any time we did something it was a foul. So I thought he was, he was very much a, a home ref on the day. Throughout this season, the players have shown that they're good enough. For League One, but do you perhaps think they need to um, believe in themselves a little bit more? Yeah, I think it's consistency. I think it's uh, every game we, we have to be ready for that challenge and the fight. Uh, and you know, there's a little bit of a theme where there's been good games, and then and then it's backed up by a, by a poor performance. And we need to get a level of consistency uh, within our game that allows us to be competitive at this level. And as we've shown today, if you're not in that first half, then, then you will be punished heavily and, and the game's gone before, before it's really started. We spoke on Thursday in your pre-match, saying in the, in the first six weeks of your, your job, we've pay, played first, second, third, fourth and fifth. How important do you, you know, the lessons that we've learned from those teams who are undoubtedly going to be promoted, if not at least in the playoffs this season? Yeah, I, th I think you know, it's, it's been a really tough start for, for myself in terms of the, the teams that we've played and uh, we have to acknowledge that and, and uh, understand where the players are in that process of learning a, a different way of playing whilst also playing against the top teams in the league. So uh, that is an evolving process and, and this 
you know, isn't something that's going to change overnight. It's going to be a longer term uh, process, but uh, we have to de learn these lessons quickly against the better teams in this league if, if we want to have a successful season. We saw Tim Dieng slot into the, to the back three later on in the game. He, he looked very comfortable there. Given that Sweens could be out for a few weeks, is that something you'll be looking, some way you'll be looking to play Tim more going on into the next few games? Yeah, it was between Tim or Groundsy, uh, and I just felt Groundsy would give us that voice and, and experience. Uh, but Tim was more a, an attacking option of a midfielder playing there and stepping in. So uh, we have options that, after today's performance, I think everyone. Uh, We'll, we'll be thinking they could start in Boxing Day. I think everyone will be eager to train and, and show that they, they are uh, playing well enough to, to earn a place in the team. So uh, the competition for places next week will be, will be really competitive, hopefully. Was it Giovanni's experience that, that prompted you to hand him the armband for today? Yeah, and I think his performances recently. I think his work ethic and his, uh, the way he's went about his work on a daily basis uh, earned him that. Uh, opportunity to, to be the captain and I thought today he, he was he was okay in a, in a bad performance overall from the team but I thought his work ethic and uh, the way he went about it today was was good again. And finally special shout out 874 City fans here today, train strikes, freezing cold weather, you know cost of living crisis that, that's a phenomenal um, turnout so close to Christmas. Yeah unbelievable and I can only apologise for not giving them what, what they came all that way to see was a, a performance and a win. Uh, it hurts us a lot and, and I'm sure it hurts them on, on that road back down uh, to, to Exeter but uh, we will do everything we can next week to, to give them something to cheer about over Christmas. Thanks a lot Gary.